Hey, Tim Alden here. Today we're going to show you how to set up your Class 2018 patch machine from Leather Machine Co. There's a lot of people that are wanting to use these for Hey Dudes and the Converse shoes. And so we thought we'd do a video for you. It's probably the easiest machine to set up from Leather Machine Co. so far. So we actually kind of have it put together because this is really easy to run through this where typically we kind of walk you through step by step. Um, there's four bolts that are going to come up from the bottom that screw into here to mount the machine on the table. That's a really easy deal. Um, we just uh, got it set up. It's really nice to have two people. Your belt runs down to the speed reducer on this outside. And if you can have somebody to where you can slide this machine forward and tip it up, hook the belt on, hook it on down here, and then slide it back into position and put those bolts in from the bottom up. There's one here, here, and then same on the other side. Really easy to do. You're gonna mount your flywheel and there's just two screws that are right here that you're gonna just make sure those screws go. There's a V in the shaft. You can pretty easy to see. There's also a shaft back here if you wanna put that flywheel over there. For me, this is such a long throat I like having it here, especially because when I'm stitching shoes, I'm going to be down over here and reaching over here, I have a bad shoulder and it just doesn't work very well. And so for me, it's a little easier to turn it with this mounted on this side. This is our bobbin winder, really cool little design. When you uh, shift this down and tighten the screw, you can see that actually engages that and pushes it into our flywheel here and you loosen it push it up drops it out of the way it has one screw that you bolt it right here if you were going to put your flywheel on the back side you would put the screw in on the back side and bolt it there that way you could have it run off of that flywheel same as the other machines, if you put them together, you probably could figure this out on your own. Um, if you haven't, so our light and nut on the underside and washer on top, feed the cord through there, tighten up the nut on the underside, and it's a real simple plug. You just put your wires down in that and fold it back. When you slide this over the top, it pushes that wire into those spikes. This is going to go around the back side. You can take the time to uh, coil it up and get it out of the way. That way it doesn't get caught in your belt. But that way when you turn your machine on, it turns your light on at the same time if you plug it in back here. And then same deal with the thread holder. It's just a washer and a nut on the underside and washer on top just bolts right through there and we're pretty well set up. So I'm going to walk you through the threading as well. You can go straight above with your thread to this post. We're going to come under this spring, push that down. This was a reservoir if you were running thread lubricator. Back in the day, they would have had wax thread. And so the tensioner for the bobbin winder is here. This is the tensioner for when you're sewing. But we're going to go ahead and run it under that side here. And then grab a spare bobbin. Comes with some of these little extra springs for in the bobbin casing, pretty handy. that tighten it up 
hold our thread just like that starts winding. So I like to make sure that my thread winds even all the way. So I'm just going to hold this off to the side, make sure that goes on to that bobbin evenly. It's small bobbin. Snip that off close. Go ahead and pull that bobbin off of there. And so you rotate that like you're turning around a right hand corner. And then there's a little button here. We push that down, flip that out of the way. We're going to pick up the shuttle. And then you're going to flip this little spring out of the way. Tip your old bobbin out. By the way, you can get about four pairs of Hey Dudes on one bobbin of 138 thread. And then you're going to run out. So we're going to come down here. And there is, you want that bobbin turning the same direction as that groove. It's going to turn counterclockwise if you pull it that way. And then there's a little hole right here that you're going to push it up. And then you want to make sure that you get it to pull under that little spring steel there. If you lift it up, and you just pull a little bit through, should slide under that spring steel. That's your bobbin tensioner. And if you switch to 138, which I would recommend, um, it just looks nicer on the Hey Dudes, that should come with one, or should come with 69 thread on this, I believe, but you can run 138 on it. And so you just make sure that's pulling through we're going to slide that little spring through. This is just to keep your bobbin from spinning. It puts a little bit of pressure on it. We're going to tighten that little screw up. And then we're going to drop this guy where you can see the bobbin. Pull this loose. Go behind this little post through here, go through a little ring, through the take up lever, this is the coolest deal ever. You got this little threader, it's got a little notch in it, pull some extra thread out. We're going to hook that thread. We're going to push it down. I like to leave a little slack because sometimes it doesn't uh, slide through. Push that down. It's going to run into a little spring down here. You can see this little spring right here. That keeps that thread. So we're going to push that down. And it's going to go right out. Back this up. Drop that foot. And you can see that thread right there. Pull our little threader out and then you just pull that thread just down like that and you want to thread this needle from left to right just like so and so this thread from our bobbin you want to go up through the outermost hole here. And both these sides are pretty much the same. And then it just snaps in. We got our thread out. 
This is going to be your stitch length here. Um, and the beauty of this machine is that it will stitch in every direction. They're interesting machines. It's a, an amazing design. It's a difficult task. I've found you're better off making turns to the left going around this way than if you're going that way. For whatever reason, it's just the way the shuttle comes around and grabs that thread, it uh, has a better consistency as far as your stitch and you won't drop stitches as much. They're uh, typically, the old singers are known for being really finicky machines. It took me a couple of pairs of Hey Dudes and just playing around and I found out you know, a couple of tips as far as sewing that stuff that just makes it super easy to work with and had no issues once I just kind of got the hang of it. It's definitely something you're going to have to play with. Another thing is these teeth on the bottom, because it is just, it only has one foot that actually pulls that material in. They have pretty coarse teeth on here. And I'm just going to pop this off and show you what I did. I went ahead and ground it off because the main thing that we're going to do stitching on these is Hey Dudes and Converse. And if we're sewing on Veg Tan, we want to be careful and not chew that stuff up. And if you just go to stitching those guys, that's exactly what's going to happen. So you can see that uh, I've taken this down and just kind of knock those teeth about halfway off. And uh, when I buffed it real good, you could take a little file and, you know, probably even round them a little bit more than I did, but that seems to work pretty good and not chew stuff up. So, so we're gonna go ahead and put that on and uh, we'll be stitching a project on the next video. Thanks for stopping by.